At a climbing gym near TWC, Adam and Andrea arrived for their sessions. They never thought they would be involved in a wildlife rescue. When I arrived, I heard something, but I wasn't sure what it was when I first got here. Um, and then when somebody's like, oh, there's a bird stuck in the upper rafters. Up. And I looked up and this poor little kill deer. I think the word to describe how it was acting was terrified and panicked. And you could see that it was very focused on trying to escape and probably go back to its home or to its nest. Or they're like, okay, well, we're gonna make this happen. Like, for sure, we're gonna, we're gonna get this way down. Someone had to do something. So I just threw my harness on and then started climbing. Knowing that I had an accomplice, uh, somebody who was willing to actually aid me in, in helping this bird, like my mind just goes into shutdown while the piper focused. We have a job to do. Um, and then rigging a system, making sure that Adam could safely like get up to the bird without causing it too much stress. I really wanted to calm it down rather than have it keep running into the windows. I'm glad that there just happened to be people there at the time that Lee had to take care of it. A group of TWC staff were climbing at the very same gym, not knowing their help would be needed. They quickly went to the center to grab what equipment they could and sent it straight up to Adam. My main focus was making sure Adam was safe and trying our best not to exacerbate the situation for the office to stress them out. to rock climb at the gym and we happen to be up in the right place at the right time because Dr. Berg here was able to assess him, this poor killdeer. Has open wounds on his wings, bleeding a little bit. Here for about six hours, a little dehydrated, so we're gonna take him back to the center, get fluids, clean his wounds, and he should be good to go. <laughs> See, you can't help yourself, can you? You clock out, but you never leave. I know. <laughs> like, are we taking get, a You should probably get some I'm glad we helped it as a community. So the killdew came in pretty severe swelling to both of his carpi and metacarpals, so this kind of region of his wings. A lot of blood, unfortunately, been trying to escape, and so he'd been smashing himself around quite a bit. At first, we were a little bit of concern because he was drooping his right wing, but we just gave him some subcute fluids and some meloxicam that helps with the swelling, and then gave him a nice long break. Um, after the break, I saw that he actually was using that wing much better. He wasn't drooping it anymore either. So at first, we were kind of concerned there might be a fracture, but after that, I was hopeful it was more just a soft tissue injury. That just means I didn't see an obvious fracture. Um, was able to do a quick eye exam on him as well, and he just has some sweeping ulcers on both eyes, which is to be expected after kind of smashing around and trying to escape and hitting windows. But all in all, I think he should be a pretty quick turnaround, but obviously we'll have our vet team look at the rads tomorrow and assess it and they're actually going to look at the patient tomorrow too so hopefully tomorrow after the vets review everything i'm hoping he won't stay for long okay. yeah and then just here too is where it's just bruised but not horrible Check your other side. The left was worse than the right. This side looks good. Doesn't even look really swollen at all. I don't know. 
I think he'd be Nancy better. Though. Yeah, I think he'd be better out there. This is a great example of how early intervention, care treatment, rehabilitation, and then obvious release. That's, that's what it should be about. That's beautiful. That's, that was beautiful. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell to be notified when we share new content. We would also love if you shared this video with a friend.